Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles's son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idle did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Same to you. Today's a scorching day. <laughs> well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? 
I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? I was with Bianca. We were, um, talking. Talking, were you? That's what you call it, is it? Stop it, Ma. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. So I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it, then. I can't stop you. And you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. Of course he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. You're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief making so much. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. 
and you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. I feel quite hungry. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Sorry, I had to go and deal with something. Well, it's no great tragedy. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. 
Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, uh, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. What is it, my boy? Take care. How are you, Henry? <laughs> God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Bye-bye. Oh! Ah. Ah. 
Gott. Coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off too. chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. God save you, Henry. You can't be serious, George. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. 
had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Kutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? The two I'm after you should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlement You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Radzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kroner shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right. Let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah.
Listen, there's this locked chest I need to get into. Really? An honest stray not good enough for you anymore? It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin off my nose anyway. I've got some lock picks you can have. But if you get caught, you didn't get them from me. Yeah, <laughs> never heard of you. Thanks, Fritz. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Hey! My God, I see someone stealing! There's a thief here! Thief over there! Help! Arrest that thief! <laughs> hey! You! Halt! Don't move a finger! Kettles for water, baskets for goods, and torches so for I'll the night. So I'll get home? I have it all. A torch will help. Your fields lie fallow. Here's a hoe. Need straw for the winter? Then you'll need a rake. Good health to you. What? You, stop right where you are. Surrender! Gone weak at the knees, have you? Someone reported you were picking locks. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. All right, that's enough. Maybe you didn't realize, but I'm in the service of the Lord of Ratai. So you better keep that in mind. Ah, uh, I didn't... I didn't know that. My apologies. Go ahead.
this is enough. For the kitchen or the field, my fine wares will grind your every day. Good luck then. Let's have a word about the price. Naturally. Stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. God be with you, Henry. May the Lord watch over you.
One beating wasn't enough for you. But you still owe my father. You'll get nothing from me. Tell that to your old man. I'm telling you, lay one finger on me and I'll have you thrown in jail. Usual or something else? A bit of this, a bit of that. I have about everything. Thanks, and do drop by again. Strong linen, delicate velvet, beautiful and functional. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Deutsch is mouthing off again. Oh, don't talk to me about him. He's a good customer. But when it comes to politics, he's unbearable. The number of times I had to throw him and the others out so they wouldn't start brawling. Well, I'd say he's an exceptional forum today. I need ale for father. As the gentleman wishes. But wait, though, there's a catch. I've no money. Kunner shows me and he won't pay up. <sighs> Leave it to me. But you have to pay me back this evening. You're the best girl a man could wish for. <laughs> Your father wants a cool one from the cellar, doesn't he? Wait here while I fetch it. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Don't worry, dearest. This evening I'll see you right. Oh, how? I do hope so. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that okay, shifty Henry. looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya? I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. 
Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, doshes! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, hands! Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, sons! I'll make those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! Top <laughs> seat <laughs> All for the kids in all the fields, my Just fine right. way. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, 
What can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the dodge. I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Mm. Kunesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. What the fuck are you here for? Do you want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you're drunk. Oh dear. Ah. Did that hurt? Fuck. Fucked up there. Ah. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Look like something the cat dragged in. Good day to you. What do you need?
what do you need? 